Hi, this is Tim. Did you know you could make safety fun? I was challenged by a college to make a safety trainer using an Allen Bradley CR30 configurable safety relay. Now that part was easy. We actually have that as a standard offering, but then they also wanted it to be something they could take to middle schools and high schools to engage with students and help get them into our industry. Now that was a challenge. And while we don't say yes to every challenge, this one had to do with recruiting people into our industry, which is kind of one of our passions. So it was hard to say no. I never thought I'd be going to Captain Party to find parts for a PLC trainer. Let's go see what we can find. While it looked neat, we wanted to test it out. So we took it to the local science museum and had some kids give it a test drive. So thank you for putting out this challenge. I hope that we have met and hopefully exceeded your expectations. And in the rest of this video, we're going to go through some details of how to set it up and some of the important notes when you're unpackaging it. To assemble it, we have these carriage slides and you just slide the center tube in till it's flush with the other side and then tighten it up. Then for the second leg, you can either assemble it on the floor or it would help if you had a second person to hold it up for you. The second one slides in the exact same way and just bring it over where it's flush and tighten it up. Then measure the top in between the two rails. And I have 37 and an eighth. And then we go to the bottom we just want to bring that out so it's also 37 and 8. On the trainer, we have made a wiring harness just for the Limbo Dance demo. And I'm going to urge you when you're not using it to remove it and have the students learn to wire the configurable safety relay. But this blue harness that you see tie wrapped all through here, and then it actually comes down up under here and it continues around to the drive, if you unscrew everything, it'll neatly peel off. And it also includes these three cables. And here is where you're gonna make the connections to the light curtain and the safety mat. The bigger connector is gonna be the safety mat and the two small ones are the light curtain. So just come over to your light curtain. Okay, this is the five pin. So it's gonna to connect to our five pin connector and they're keyed so they can only go one way. And we'll just tighten that up. And same with the other one, it's gonna be keyed so it'll only go one way. Now, loosen the adjusters and drop the light curtains all the way down. And then using the reclosable tie wraps, we're gonna tie wrap the cable to this top bar. And then finally we have our safety mat, which has a connector on it that will mate up with that third connector. And just like the other two, it will only go in one way. All right, I've powered it up. I'll flip it around to the other side as I have a red flashing light. And what that means is the light curtains are not properly aimed or the light curtains beam has been broke by somebody if you're using it. I'm gonna start by adjusting the light curtain transmitter, which is the one that has the scale on it. And when you're assembling it, make sure that's the one that has the five pin connector on it. So I'm gonna loosen this up and we're gonna set it at 60 inches. And I kind of use that corner right there as a reference point. And then whenever you're ready, you just tighten this down and that's what holds it in place. 
Now for the receiver, you notice it doesn't have a scale on it, but it does have the align indicator and also the output indicator. So it's a good exercise of lining one up. I'm gonna bring it up and as you get close, it's gonna, the line light's gonna go out. Actually, okay, well, we have this one lined up real well. Sometimes, there, see how the line light is now blinking? That means you're close. But let's see if I bring it on out, see now it's solid. I bring it down, and now we have a green light on the OSSD, and that's where we want it at. You're also gonna hear that beeping at this point. But go ahead and tighten down this. And then there's actually two ways to reset it once you have it aimed. Is first we can press button four. And when we do that, the green light is gonna come on and that's gonna tell us that we're ready to go. Now, if we break the light curtain, then we're gonna see the red light start flashing and that's what it's indicating. And then once we clear it, which usually in this case will be the person getting out of the way, then the alarm is going to come on and it'll be indicated by the blue light flashing in our buzzer flashing. Now we found it just kind of made a little bit of anticipation with the kids by the, all of a sudden there being a delay and all of a sudden like, oh man, I thought I made it. And again, we can hit the blue button to reset it. We also had the safety mat. I was trying to find a purpose for it. So I also made it that if you step on the safety mat, then it's the same as hitting the blue button and it resets it and it's ready for the next person. After the initial assembly, when you receive it, this assembly is gonna be the exact same as we just assembled it. So you'll disconnect the light curtain, transmitter and receiver, and then remove the two reclosable tie wraps. Also, if you don't like the reclosable tie wraps, you actually could permanently tie those cables to the sitter bar. The only disadvantage is you have to carry the center bar along with the trainer at that point. That's why I use the reclosable ones. I'll leave that up to you though. And then we'll disconnect the final cable, which goes down to our safety mat. And then we have the same adjusters on the top. So let me flip this around where you can see. Is we'll just loosen one of them and this will slide off. in the other one and there you go that comes apart in the three pieces and then we have the safety mat and the safety trainer now for a few other details about it just for the initial assembly it's going to come without the light curtain receiver and transmitter attached to these legs so you're going to need to remove this end cap and then you'll want to slide this piece back on. And it's just the same as sliding that top piece on. And note that the leg without the scale on it has the connector with more pins in it. The one with the leg on it is going to have the five pin connector. And that's going to make it where aiming it is much easier. So yeah, I'm just going to slide that off. Put this cap back on. There's a few additional things you'll need to do the first time that you assemble it just so I could get it in the crate it is over here on this leg. Actually, we're going to do it on both legs. I'm going to loosen these three bolts right here. And I'm going to slide this leg off and then I'm going to tighten these back up. And then right underneath where it goes, I'm going to right gusset. So when you put it back on, you'll just want to cover up that writing of gusset. The legs are both the same, so there isn't a left or right to them. I'm just going to do the exact same thing to the other one. So gusset goes here. When you receive it, one side will have a lot of this side up stickers on it. And that's the cover, and that's the side that you're going to want to unscrew. And please do not take a pry bar and try to pry this thing apart. I'd take the screws out because you could easily damage the safety mat. Also note that there are five screws in the middle of it supporting some of the packing. So one, two, three, four, five. I think that about covers it. I would stress that the pre-wired harness that we have is really just for you demoing it as the limbo dance trainer at schools. 
please remove it when you're actually using it in a classroom because it's important that students learn how to wire a light curtain to the safety relay or even how to wire a button or a light down to it. So we've written a lesson series for the CR30 to go along with this. Thank you so much for putting this challenge out. It has been a lot of fun and I hope this trainer works well for education and for recruitment of new people into our industry. Till next time. Hi, hey, this is Till. And this is Amber of TW Controls. We run the automation store. Hey, thanks for finding our channel. Here's a playlist with some similar videos. And YouTube thinks you'll like this video. Please like our video and subscribe to our channel. And if our videos have helped you make some money and you're not using our products, please consider supporting us on Patreon. Till next time. See ya.